Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're going to tackle this interesting little problem here. And the question is, we want to find a formula for this sequence. So it's kind of obvious what's going on. We have these diamonds here, and the diamonds certainly have a certain amount of dots. I don't really want to give too much away here because I want to give you a full opportunity to figure this problem out. But what we're looking for is a formula and you want to use the variable n, okay, to describe this sequence, okay, the pattern, what's going on here. So if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, we're going to go through this step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep, or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description uh, below. And if this video is exciting and helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so obviously the topic here we're dealing with is sequence and this is part of a uh, broader topic in kind of more advanced mathematics called sequence and series. But even if you haven't taken that level of math, you can kind of just use some you know, good old fashioned logic and common sense to kind of figure out a formula that would describe the pattern of what's going on here. But let's kind of take a look at the answer. So the answer is 4n, okay? So that would be our formula to describe this particular pattern. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, if you're totally confused, well, you know, just hold on one second. This will kind of be really easy once you see how to do this prom. But if you got this right, well, let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that you tackled a sequence problem and that math guy on YouTube could not get you. See, I like to try to, you know, challenge you from time to time with interesting problems. But this particular problem is something that you will see um, if you take, let's say, Algebra 2, College Algebra, and you start studying sequence and series. And it's really not as difficult as you might think. But if you're confused, let's get you unconfused right now. Okay, so let's go down here. And most of you probably, um, you know, we're looking at this problem saying, okay, what's going on here? Well, let's just start counting the dots. So our first um, figure, our first diamond here, is what? Well, we have one, two, three, four dots for this one. And then we just count this one out. This is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here's eight dots for this one. And then here we count all these out. We have 12. So we're ha we have a sequence uh, and we have four. Okay. That's our first term. Then our next term is eight. And then our next term is 12. So a sequence is basically, it's a uh, pattern of numbers, right? And I want to kind of speak in non-technical terms right now, uh, because let's suppose you're just looking at this problem. You're like, hey, I want to figure this out. Then yes, you can figure this out. You don't need uh, algebra. Well, you'll need a little bit of algebra, but you don't have to have, again, full-on advanced uh, knowledge of sequence and series. It certainly helps if you do. But even if you don't, I'm going to go ahead and teach you a bit about what a sequence is. So let's go ahead and take a look at the definition of just a general sequence. And this might seem a little technical, but it is important here. So a sequence, now we're talking about a sequence of numbers, a sequence, uh, something like this, 4, 8, 12. And of course, we could have uh, 2, uh, let's add me something different here. Uh, how about this sequence? Uh, let's see here, 1, 3, 5, 7, on and on and on, right? So we're just, we're basically, we have numbers separating by a comma. Now, there's all different types of sequences and this is a big topic in uh, mathematics, but let's just go ahead and give you some more information just in case you forgot this, or maybe even uh, haven't even learned this yet, but a sequence, okay, of course, I just showed you a couple examples of what they are, is a function, okay, whose domain is the set of positive integers with function values a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub n, and these are what we call the terms of a sequence. So, wow, some of you are like, oh my goodness, you might be like, what are you talking about? I don't wanna learn all this you know, technical language. Well, it is important that you understand what's going on with a, um, a sequence. So let's just kind of go through this real quick, some of these words. So a sequence is a function, okay? So a function is basically 
a, um, and this is very, very simplistic in terms of the way I'm explaining it, but if you haven't studied algebra or forgot, basically it's, we like to kind of describe it as a, um, as a machine where there is an input, okay, and then you get some sort of output, okay, so this is, and there's a lot of other kind of aspects to it, but basically a function is there's going to be an input and there's going to be a, uh, an output for that input, okay, value. Now, the domain is the set of all input values into this machine. Okay, so just imagine a machine, you put some raw materials in and then some stuff comes out. That stuff that comes out is called the range. The stuff you throw in or you can throw into this machine is called the domain. Okay, so a sequence is a function whose domain is the set of positive integers. So what are the positive integers? Well, we're looking at them right here. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, et cetera, et cetera. These are the positive integers, so not negative values. So these right here, these numbers, one, two, three, are actually the input values for a sequence, okay, and that's a particular function. And the output value for a uh, sequence is, in fact, these terms, okay, so the values of these respective terms. So the first term, okay, is going to be a what we call a sub 1. The second term is a sub 2. The third term is a sub 3. And then any term we want way out here, it doesn't make a difference if we want the hundredth term or the thousandth term. This is what we call the nth term. So what we're looking for in this particular problem is a formula that describes any term in that particular uh, sequence. Okay, again, our n right here is a set of all positive integers. Now, is this information uh, absolutely necessary to solve this problem? Well, maybe not, okay? But it is absolutely essential if you really want to learn this stuff, okay? So hopefully, you know, you're at this, uh, you know, level of mathematics where you're studying sequence and series. By the way, if you need help with this, you're like, oh, this is exactly what I'm working on in my class, check out my pre-calculus course. I get really heavy duty with sequence series and everything, you know, um, advanced mathematics at that particular level. Okay, so uh, just a quick review for those of you that may not even know now. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this problem now. So we, can ha we have uh, our little diamond. So again, here we have four, eight, 12. We want a formula. So this first diamond is like our first term. So here our a sub one would be equal to four. This would be our second term in this sequence, okay? So that would be a sub 2, and that's equal to 8. And then here, whoops, I'm kind of missing a little dot. Let's kind of put that in. Uh, so right here, this is our third, our a sub 3, which is 12. Let's go ahead and actually write that a little bit better. So when we look at this sequence, we have 4, 8, and 12. Our first term is 4. Our second term is is uh, 8. Our third term is 12. So how are we getting to each, um, you know, what's the pattern that's going on here? Clearly, you can see that we're adding 4 to get to the next term. Okay, we got to be careful here. Remember, uh, the 1, 2, 3, these things down here are what the domain is. So when we are looking for a particular term, we're plugging in. In other words, we're like, okay, A sub N, we're looking for this formula. Now, in this particular problem, the answer is 4N. I already told you that. So when we plug in, for example, uh, if I replace this N with 1, I'm looking for A sub 1. I'm looking for the first term. Of course, we know that is 4. So what you want to be thinking about is, okay, this is, if I plug in a 1, I get a 4. If I plug in a 2, I'm getting an 8. If I plug in a 3, I'm getting a 12. What's going on here? Okay, well, if you kind of study this carefully, it looks like you're multiplying by 4. Okay, we're not adding. Although this would be classified as an arithmetic sequence, what we're going to do, though, is multiply the uh, uh, domain, okay, this input value for this uh, term, by 4. And if we kind of study that pattern, like, okay, 3 times 4, that's 12. Let's see, 2 times 4, that's 8. Uh, 1 times 4, that's 4. So that looks pretty good. And, uh, and obviously that is going to work. Okay, so here we go. So we have 4, 8, and 12. 
And again, I really, what I'm kind of really trying to do here is beyond solving the problem, I want to teach you something about sequences, okay? Or refresh, uh, you know, a real important concept about sequences for those of you that are studying this. So again, the domain is these input values, which is the set of um, positive integers, all right? So, you know, it's pretty obvious here for uh, sub one, okay? For if I wanted to find the first term, I just plug in a one into my formula. And here I would plug in a two, et cetera, is four sub three. So if I wanted to find the nth term, I just plug in n, and I'm multiplying obviously by four each one of these. So that would just be four n, okay? Really more uh, specifically for this particular sequence, a sub n is equal to four n. That describes the terms of this sequence. Okay, so listen. If this was confusing, hopefully uh, this is, you know, kind of cleared things up, or maybe this might be a little bit too much in terms of an introduction to sequence and series. So a couple things here. Um, again, if you're at that level of math for sequence and series, again, check out my pre-calculus course. But if you want some more kind of basic problems in terms of pattern recognition, and basic sequences and things like that, check out my Math Foundations uh, course. I do kind of teach uh, this, these concepts at a much more basic level. But, uh, you know, again, this is stuff that hopefully you find interesting and exciting. And if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.